Hey guys, what's up? I bet uh, my name is something you haven't seen in your sub box for a long time, but uh, 2007 servers are coming back, so I bet you I'm not the only strange face you've seen in your sub box. So yeah, I'm I'm coming back. I'm playing RuneScape again, and uh, I'm coming at you with a 2007 RuneScape money making guide. And this I think is probably going to be what I rushed to first. A lot of people are like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna go get 85 Slayer. I can get that in like three weeks, man." I'm a, I'm a rush 85 Slayer, no life, get in three weeks. Well, you, you're not gonna be able to do that. I mean, there's no, the you're not, you're not gonna be able to go from level one to 85 Slayer in three weeks. You might be able to do that. At you might be able to get the XP in three weeks or less now on your account in this RuneScape. But keep in mind, in 2007 Scape, you know they didn't have turmoil. They didn't have they only had super attack potions, you didn't have extreme draw overloads, you, you're going to be wearing gear like this, you know, you're going to be wearing rune with like a dragon longsword, there's no polypore, there's no storm armadil, um, you know, there's no chaotix, there's no dragon war weapons, there's, you're not going to be able to get 85 slayer very quickly, it'll probably take uh, a month or so before uh, someone gets it, um, it'll probably take about two months, I think, before the first person gets 85 slayer, is my guess. So I think people are really underestimating how hard it's going to be because at like 10k XP an hour it's going to take a while. But uh, anyway, so this is um, going to be a money making guide and uh, to do this you're going to need uh, a decent range level, you're going to need, need to complete the quest to do the uh, to get the dwarf multi cannon. You're going to need to um, have a decent defense level, probably about 40 so you can wear rune armor. Um, I'm just taking gear that you kind of have standard by the time you uh, would have have done the what do you call that quest the uh, Fremenic Isles so you need to do the first Fremenic uh, quest and the Fremenic Isles quest so it's probably going to take you about two or three days or it's probably going to take me I don't know how many of you guys are going to do this it's probably going to take me about two or three days to get through all these quests and by that time I'll probably have gear maybe not as good as this Obsidian Capes are pretty expensive in 07 Escape because it's like uh, the best cape in the game uh, not counting skill capes uh, but uh, I'm basing all this stuff on the old prices. Uh, based off the old prices that were in 2007, uh, you could probably make about 700 to uh, 1 mil an hour here. 700k to 1 mil an hour. So uh, this is the inventory setup I'm using. If you're around 40 defense, I recommend you take sharks or um, muckfish. But, you know, I'm probably not going to get hit very much here. Um, so, anyway, let's go ahead and play your Enchanted Lyre. Because, uh, unless you have your house there, my house is in Polynevich, so... I can't take that convenient teleport. I think there's a fairy ring over there, but I'm not sure. So I'm, I'm taking the liar because it's probably what we're going to be using in Classic Scape to get here. Not Classic Scape, but uh, 07 Scape. Uh, you run up here, and we're going to go to Niet's Not. Or Niet's Not. Whatever. Uh, Niet is Not. <laughs> that's, that's the best stuff you're going to get out of me for that one. Um, anyway, sometimes I think when Jagex makes up these names, they just bang their head on the keyboard and sees what. And whatever comes out, they that's what they name their island. Like with a money pouch. So when you get here and yet it's not, there is a bank here, of course. I don't think I need to explain that to you guys, you guys should know. Um, and then you're gonna run north of the bank. Come over here. Come to this bridge. You will have to walk across the rope bridge. And um, let's see, are they there in this version of RuneScape? They sure are. Alright, so these are the ice ice trolls. Now, um, I do recommend you don't use a rune defender, actually. Probably a Firminate Shield would be better, but uh, I, can't, I can't get my hands on a Firminate Shield just because no one really uses them anymore. But Firminate Shields uh, give uh, bonuses against these guys if it's the bonuses. So, in, in, uh, in 2007 Scape, if you can get a Firminate Shield, do that. So, the trees have changed. In 2007 Scape, the, the trees aren't going to be in the same places. But you'll be able to set up your cannon about right here is going to be where you want to set it up. But obviously I can't. And there is six or seven ice troll um, spawns around here. You set up your cannon and uh, you start killing ice trolls. So let me... Oh, I don't have a two-handed weapon. so I, I, My ability bar set up for two-handers. So this is not going to take a while. But... Uh, Anyway, I'm going to get up to Momentum and then test this out real quick. So I'll be back once I get up to Momentum. Oh, and... Uh, actually, no, I won't, I won't pause it. Um, 
these, because uh, I want to show you guys the drops. So yeah, there's more of them down here. And, um, you can kill them, because I want to show you guys the drops. These Ice Troll Runts are the ones that, um, they don't have the greatest drops. These, uh, Ice Troll Females and stuff have better drops. They drop, um, th things like Steel Plate Bodies you can out, depending on how much Nature Runes cost. Um, things like, uh, well, no Arganite works in 2007 Escape. They drop lots of herbs, lots of Ranars and stuff, but the, uh, the big money that you're going to be making here is going to be in the granite shields. These guys drop granite shields. And uh, they also drop rune kite shields. Rune kite shields were worth quite a bit back in uh, back in the day. So uh, rune kite shields, granite shields, and um, rune war hammers, rune battle axes, and herbs and herb seeds. Plus they drop things like noted coal. There's a noted coal around here somewhere. And this is very good range XP per hour. You do make a uh, uh, money here. This is, um, I don't, I, it wasn't that popular, but some people got, tried to, like, they trained their range up here. No one really went for 99s that much back in 2007, but this is where people train their range. Uh, God Wars Dungeon will not be out, so you won't have Dragon Boots, you'll be wearing things like Rune Boots. Um, but, and, so, like, without Dra God Wars Dungeon, there's not that big of a need to train range. Range really wasn't that useful until Armadillo came out. But, yeah, you can uh, kill these ice trolls here. Um, I'm getting hit, actually, a lot more than I expected. I think that's just because I don't have the Ferminate Shield. The Ferminate Shield really does make a big difference. Um, so if you can get your hands on one of those, that's great. But this is where I'm going to rush to. I'm, this is what I'm going to be spending my time to, just training up to do all the quests to get this cannon and come here. And, uh, yeah, they drop Granite Shields granite, and uh, Rune Kite Shields. That's where your main money is going to come from. Uh, as well as Rune Warhammers and Battle Axes. So good luck with that, and uh, stay tuned for some more money-making guides for 2007 Runescape. That's what I'm going to be doing until it comes out, is just posting up a bunch of guides. Why am I doing uh, abilities? I had momentum. Oh well, that's it. I'm not going to stay around here anymore, because nowadays, obviously, Granite Shields and Rune Kite Shields are not worth the couple hundred K that they were back in the day, so I'm losing money here. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for some more 2007 uh, money making guys